Hi there, I am Paul Spooner, the Distractable Dad. I also happen to be a mechanical engineer, and today I'm looking at a video by Andrew Camerata. He put a, a video up about enclosing his shed here. Uh, he's got this really cool stone uh, texture cast concrete, and he then goes into this castle that he wants to build. So he's got this castle design. It's very cool, uh, but I noticed a few things about it that I thought could be improved. So um, I made my own version of this, Let's remade the whole thing in Blender. Uh, he didn't send me any files or anything, so he's, I mean, like, this may not be exactly what he had in mind, but it's pretty close to what he what he showed in the video. And um, so I just want to go over the, the design. First off, uh, the general principles of, of what he's trying to accomplish, what it looks like he's trying to accomplish. He said he wanted to uh, have it poured concrete, uh, which means that you can do custom work. You don't have to work around um, concrete blocks or um, specific uh, like set forms or something like that. You can do whatever you want, basically. Uh, steel roof. Uh, so that's also a point of flexibility with steel. You can bend it, you can weld it into different shapes. And so you could have uh, you know, some complex, you can see he's got some complex geometry in the roof. Uh, lots of glass. He's got views in every direction, so he wants to have lots of glass, lots of visibility. He wants to be able to see out of the windows. He doesn't want it to be a fortress. He wants it to kind of look like a castle, but uh, he doesn't want it to actually be a castle. Um, garage inside. Uh, so it turns out that this is more of a keep than a castle. It's It's got a, a covered courtyard, and so you could, you'd really call it more of a keep. Um, because it's like a it's like a single tower instead of a castle, which would have a, a courtyard in the middle and then fortifications around the outside. But you know, it's a castle look. Um, garage inside. So the uh, the entrance to the garage there is kind of like a gatehouse, and so this we can draw on some gatehouse designs from uh, from historical castles and stuff to make it look a little cooler. Uh, He's got a loft in the garage, which I'm not going to touch on the internal architecture very much. I'm going to try to leave that as unchanged as possible. He knows what he wants as far as the layout and the, you know, the, where the things are. So I'm not gonna say, you know, change around the internal architecture or anything. I'm not gonna really touch on it. It's not super visible from the outside. And honestly, interior design is not my forte. So um, I'm gonna focus on the exterior architectural elements. And then he wants it to be really cool. He wants it to have no ugly side. He wants it to be decorative. He wants it to be uh, kind of a set piece. He's bought this mountain property. I think he's gonna put it pretty near the, close to the top of the mountain so it's going to be visible from miles away he wants it to be this the set piece gorgeous architectural masterpiece so uh here's his design he's got um that entryway here it's got this big garage door i'm assuming it's going to be a roll-up door like we saw in the other video he's got crenellated um walls around the outside that is very neat he's got these hexagonal towers hexagonal is unusual but not unheard of in castle architecture uh, a lot of times they're octagonal they're eight-sided just because people like building with squares uh, it's easier to, to square something off and then you can cut the corners off and make an octagon pretty easily but that said there are uh examples of of hexagonal towers in history so hexagons are fine there's nothing wrong with them um He's got this multi-story upper area. He's got this neat um, kind of a loft thing. I'm not sure what this is, but like a you know a raised uh, raised thing right up next to his big picture windows. This is something he did in his other castle. You can watch his other videos. He's made a castle already uh, that is like this. Um, it's not as uh, castle-like. I think his other castle isn't quite as castle-like as this one is. So. Uh, I think this is a good step in the right direction as far as like making something that looks like a castle. Uh, he's got these little arched windows and uh, spiral staircase, of course. He didn't show the spiral staircase in his model, but I've kind of assumed that that's what he's gonna what he's gonna be doing. He's got something like uh, a spiral staircase here, so we can we can assume that he's gonna have spiral staircases uh, all the way down into his into his basement area here. So. Uh, and also, yeah, spiral staircases, super cool, very fun, and very castly. Uh, so, those are the, the kind of the design highlights. He's got this upper area, which is all enclosed in glass, and it's got a peaked roof, and then the lower area, which is more like a castle. So, if you, so you could just imagine if you took this whole upper area and just hit it for a moment, um, you'd end up with something that looks a lot like a castle. So that's very castly. You've got a gatehouse, you've got the um, the towers that are extending beyond the gateway, and uh, that, you know, that profile is super castly. Um, 
but when you add the lots of glass, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with glass, but this is a design feature you want. But when you add this, the silhouette then becomes basically, uh, if you can just kind of squint and look at it, it's basically a, a stick built house. It's got a peaked roof. It's got that very square kind of um, profile. If you look at it from this angle, yeah, you can see there's a little tower sticking up on one corner, but again, you've got this very large uh, peaked roof and it's all very modern, very conventional looking. And so um, that is the main architectural problem with this. It doesn't look in profile. If it's if you're viewing it up against the sky, it's not gonna look like a castle. It's gonna look like a house. Uh, with, well, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you want it to be super iconic and, and visible from a long way away and, and people look at it and say, that's a castle instead of that's a house, you need it to look like a castle in profile. So that's the that's the first thing I would say is, and if you, and this happens in all historical castles. If you look at historical castles, there's a, a very clear hierarchy of the towers stick up the highest, then the roof behind the crenellations sticks up, and then there's always this, this crenellated, this um, fortification around the outside uh, of the entire thing. So if you've got a castle in mind, then you should, at the very least, add fortifications to the edge of this roof here. And then um, the, the front of this roof, of course, historically people wouldn't build something with a, with a big exposed window like this. The closest you could get would be a cathedral, where you have uh, a lot of glass area with these um, very thin pillars. So you could do something cathedrally if you wanted to have that look. But I don't think it's really necessary. The main thing is to get the profile, the, the silhouette correct. And so um, you could just you could just build um, a couple of, of faux towers on the corners of the roof here, and uh, and enclose that in. And I'll I'll do some modeling for that. But first, I wanted to say the easiest, quickest, and surest way to make this look more like a castle would just be to make the windows narrower. So let's do that real quick. So there we go. Already you can see it looks way more like a castle. These look more like arrow slits. They're they're invoking a military look rather than um, more of a domestic look. Now, those wider windows, they're not unheard of in architecture. You can see them in um, the Tower of London. The Tower of London has, has windows like that in the center. Um, but Tower of London is more on the palace side of the design space. Um, it's a keep that's been renovated many times, and so it doesn't really look like a castle so much. So that would be my first suggestion. Just make the windows narrower. It'd make it cheaper to build <laughs> because the windows are expensive. So it's like, it's a win all around. You make the windows narrower, it looks more like a castle, it's cheaper to build. Uh, you won't get as much light into the into the towers, but you know, honestly, that should be fine. Uh, another thing that I would suggest is these, um, the way that these are shown, they, they don't form a perfect arch. So there are, there are three basic types of arches in um, in classical architecture. There's the Roman arch, which is a perfect semicircle, uh, which is kind of what it seems like Andrew's going for here. So I would suggest change the change those to be perfect semicircles. Um, there's another one, which is the uh, more the flattened arch. It's called a four center arch or a two door arch. It's considered, um, it's also called a depressed arch and I think it looks bad. So the way he has it shown right now uh, with his with his previous design, it was more of a depressed arch kind of look. And so I would move away from the depressed arch if you want it to be um, round, classical, like a Roman kind of thing, a Roman arch, and you make it perfect hem uh, hemisphere or hemicircle. If you want it to be more like uh, Gothic, you can always make it taller. So let's just uh, do that. More like that, more like a gothic arch. And that would be my suggestion because I think the gothic arches look super cool. Something else that you see in a lot of castles and including the Tower of London is that this trim goes all the way around. So I would just, I would suggest doing that. Add trim all the way around the windows. It's not a big change, but it makes it, uh, it makes it look more like a castle. Uh, because those would be reinforced, those would be areas of the walls that were that were reinforced and and uh, had uh, you know because it's a window, so you don't want it to be easy to break through there. So uh, add trim all the way around the windows and make them narrower. I think that would be improvement. Um, 
you don't have to make them pointed arches on the top. You could make them, you know, a semicircle if you wanted to, uh, make it more like a Roman thing. Or another thing you can do is just get rid of the arch altogether, make them square because arrow loops historically, because they were so narrow, they didn't have an arch on top. It was just a piece of stone. So they had square top and bottom. Uh, that'll be even cheaper to make. You won't have to mess with the, the arch and stuff. And I think it'll actually look better than just having that arch on top, that very shallow, depressed arch on top. I think it will look better just to have no arch at all. Um, just make them square, but make them narrower. That would be my suggestion. I'm going to leave them uh, pointed Gothic arches because I think that looks sick. Uh, another thing you could do um, is add another window. So you've got one window here. You could add another one here. Uh, that would be an improvement, I think. Um, because this, so a, a castle is always going to have arrow loops at any entry point so that it can defend against attackers. There we go. So uh, add some more windows to that tower. That would make it look a little nicer. It wouldn't be a huge cost increase, but it would be, uh, it would be an improvement, I think. I'm going with, uh, with the arches. If you don't want arches, Andrew. Uh, so I'm, one of the reasons I'm making this video is because Andrew, uh, I commented on the video saying, hey, you could make some improvements. I said, okay, well, I'm open to suggestions. What do you think? I think it looks pretty cool already. And it's like, fair enough. I, you know, it does look pretty cool. But um, one of the reasons I'm making the video is so that we can make it even better. If you want to have archways over the windows, then I would suggest putting an archway over the main, I'm calling it the main gate, uh, because that's basically what it is. This is the gatehouse. This is the main gate. And this would definitely have an arch over because castles were constructed very heavy stone and you couldn't build an opening like this with just a, a block of stone. It would cave in. So um, this would be arched. And so let's, let's do that. So there we go. Already, man, it looks so much more like a castle. So uh, that's another thing I would do. It will lose you a little bit of clearance on the corners. Um, so, you know, make sure that that'll, all your equipment will fit in there. But uh, that is something, that is definitely something I would do, is make that arch uh, there. Now, if you don't want arches, again, uh, don't put an arch over there, but then don't put it on the windows either. Make the windows square. It'll look fine if they're narrow. They'll look like arrow loops, and, and that'll be fine. Um, but so, like, either commit to the arches or, or take them all out, is my suggestion. Okay, next thing. This looks like a gatehouse, uh, but it's not quite there yet. So there's a few improvements we can make. One of the things is that a gatehouse would have the uh, the towers on either side extending a little further out from the, the front, and usually the gate was recessed back in. So we could take these towers and move them in. Let's see if we can do this without causing any real mayhem. So something like that, where you've got the, the towers sticking out a little bit more, where they meet up closer into the, the gate there, where there's not so much of an empty, an empty space there. Because you wouldn't build a gatehouse that was way wider than the gate. You would build exactly as wide a gate as you want, and then the gatehouse comes right up to the edge of the gate. Because there would be a long channel in a normal castle. There would be a long uh, passageway into the gatehouse where there's murder holes and arrow loops and multiple gates and stuff like that. Uh, in here, obviously, it's just a garage, but uh, you'd want it to look from the outside a little better. So I think that would improve the look a bit. Uh, now, obviously, the roof doesn't match up with the walls and stuff, but we're going to change that anyway because the next thing is um, is the towers. If you want this to look like a castle, I recommend making the towers uh, significantly taller than the roof. So something like this, and then same thing for this guy. This guy should be... You know, probably the same, and uh, even that will will make a big improvement because now, if you look at the at the thing, you can always see a tower. So you're looking from this angle, there's a tower. You're looking from this angle, there's a tower. Uh, it's up on a you know on a big mountain, so you're not going to be able to see both towers all the time. But with something like this, now you've got some towers to look at. Now, if you don't want this to um, if you actually want this lower uh, parapet here, that's fine. There's, you know, you can have both. You can have a tower and uh, a lower parapet. You can just uh, cut this out here. So let's let's do that. So 
So there we go. You've still got your lower tower, but then you've got a tower on top. Uh, how is that going to hold up? Well, you built some steel structure. It's going to have some posts here anyway. I didn't show them, but um, I'm not doing all the structural design and stuff. I'm just showing like what it would look like if, if you were trying to make it look super like a castle. Uh, so then you could do the same thing in the front here, and I would highly recommend it because uh, then you can do the last step, which I'll go over in a minute. So let's add more of these kind of guys, but up in front. So there we go, something along those lines. Uh, it's not perfect, uh, you could you mess with the design or whatever, but now you've got an even more castle-y look. The silhouette is going to be very castle-like. You've got those crenellations, you've got the towers, you've got a real great silhouette. And then the last thing I would do is add crenellations all along the edge of the roof because in all castles that is always what you see is crenellations along the edge of the roof here. So let's do that. So there you go. That will give it a very, very castle-y look. Now, I realize it's extra work. It's a lot of extra work to put all those towers up there. And you don't even need the interior of the towers because no one's going to be looking at it down on it from the top. Unless, I mean, unless you care about it uh, looking cool from the top, which fairly, fair enough. That's that's a cool thing to, to think about. Um, so there are some there are some cost-saving things you could do to, to cut down on it. But honestly, it's probably worth it just to just to build the whole thing, right? To, to not worry about, you know, cutting out the inside of the towers or anything like that. Um, but that will give the silhouette... The silhouette will be super duper castly. It won't look like a house anymore. It's going to look like a castle. You haven't altered the interior architecture at all. So you still get your great views. You still get your interior space. You still get your uh, you know, spiral staircase and all that interior stuff. The interior is basically the same. You get a little bit bigger on these corner towers. You could extend the roof over these corner towers a little bit more if you wanted to. Um, honestly, I wouldn't towers uh hardly ever have roofs on them and when they do they're they're more like pointed roofs in the middle rather than uh, like a like a porch sticking out over the edge uh, it just it wasn't done and it doesn't look right it um doesn't look right so yeah if you want to do that you know fine uh you know i can't stop you obviously but i think that this would make it look way better now uh, there's some more stuff that we could change. So you've noticed all of these roofs I've, or all the crenellations. I've used his crenellations. I think that these crenellations are actually much too small. Uh, a real castle has crenellations that are about as wide as a, a man's shoulders. So they're they're a good two feet solid, you know, maybe a little more wide. Uh, now, it turns out this building is actually very small compared to a, a real castle or even a keep. And so if you did that, you'd basically end up with no crenellations and just like a little arrow slit in between, but you could kind of split the difference. Do something like that. I think that those crenellations would look much better. You'll be able to read them much easier from further away. So it's gonna, you're gonna be able to see the crenellations on the towers. I think it'll look better and it'll, it'll read more easily. Uh, it'll also be less work because, you know, fewer of those features to put into your castings uh, means fewer you know, fewer uh, forms and stuff to mess with. So uh, that would be easier to make. And I think it would look better to make the crenellation smaller. Of course, you could do that to the whole thing. He's shown it with a little bit of bracing underneath here, but I would add matriculations. If you're going to cast it out of concrete anyway, you may as well put those in. So there we go, matriculations on all the turrets, and uh, that will add a lot of flavor to the to the turrets there. All right, so. 
that's that's a castle there. That looks like a castle. It, um, if you wanted to make it more castly, you could get rid of all these roofs sticking out and make uh, solid walls. And but of course, then you wouldn't have the um, the outdoor porch area, and you wouldn't have your great views. So that's the trade-off. Uh, given that you definitely want amazing views, I think that you should probably not uh, take all that out and and just convert it into a castle. And I think this will provide uh, a good a good balance. So as far as reaching these guys up here, I'm not sure what uh, what the plan is with this tower. Uh, this this spiral staircase here, um, it's not a good idea to put it straight out the roof, but you could always have a little um, external stair here and have a door that you know, comes out onto the roof and then that's how you, you get up here. And then same thing with this, you could have some stairways up onto the, uh, onto the towers and then you could use those. You could have doors into the towers and you could have storage or whatever in there. Um, you could always put windows into the towers. That might look cool. Uh, if they're not going to be inhabited, though, you might not want to put windows in there. Uh, it's all up to you. I think uh, I think these these little crenellations should be should be taller. Let's let's do that. There we go. That adds some verticality to the design. I like that a lot. That helps a lot. Uh, this is a problem down here, but uh, it's solvable. I'm sure you could just uh, cut it out of the middle of those or something. There we go. Solved that problem. That actually looks really cool. That's sweet. So adds a little verticality, adds some more dynamic uh, castly feel to it. Uh, you can always put drains in between them and have real machicolations if you wanted to. Uh, what else can we do to this to make it more castly? Uh, let's see. Well, so there's there's always um, there's always more fantasy elements. more time on this but that's a bartizan it's uh, like a little tower room that sticks off the side of a tower um, you could add a roof to this uh, all kinds of stuff so uh, that's a very castle-y castle kind of thing so the, the idea with this would be that you, the stairway would come up inside it so then you wouldn't need like a hatch in the floor on this tower uh, and so then the you know stair would come up inside there and you can get on the top of the tower but then you still can't get on top of this tower so maybe you put a a ladder up on top of there or something. I don't know. These these are already pretty small towers, so uh, having a, a bartizan might not make sense. But I think it looks cool. Um, so that's another kind of feature that you could add. 
Uh, and of course, those could go all over the place. You could put some down here and you know wherever you want. So uh, another thing you could do other than all of this is alter the roof line. Because you've got a metal roof, it's pretty easy to, to make it curved, which would make it look pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if that's something that uh, would be interesting. But for example, if you want a, a roof on top of this bartizan here. So for example, something like that uh, could look pretty sweet. So now you've got a little roof on there, it gives it a, a little more character, gives it a little more pizzazz, but you can make it look even neater if you make this like so. Give it a bit of a taper and then it it just looks amazing. I think it just looks amazing. So you could do that kind of thing. You could do that kind of thing for the roof down here. Maybe you don't want all this structure here. Maybe you want all this stuff. Just like, yeah, I don't really like all this. I want it to all, I want it to all go away. Uh, maybe you, you keep the bartizan. I don't know. Uh, but maybe you want to give the whole roof here some sort of uh, some sort of tapered kind of thing like that. Give it a bit of a, a swell like that. That could look amazing. If that's something you're into, fantastic. I I think that the features like this that just give it a little bit more character, a little bit more um, style can really add to the building. So, I mean, that wouldn't be a huge change. And uh, already I think that looks way better. Uh, but anyway. That is a bunch of ideas. Well, now this is all messed up, but uh, you know, you get the idea. Um, I don't know if, I, I mentioned gargoyles in my comment. I don't know if gargoyles are actually appropriate. Gargoyles are more a, a cathedral kind of thing. So maybe they don't really fit on this. Um, then again, you could always put them like up here uh, under under the under the uh, the Merlons here, underneath uh, the edge of the the crenellations or something. So it's you know it's a possibility. Oh man, we should add this add this kind of roof to these guys too. Let's do that. Oh man, that's that's looking very castly. I don't know, man. You might have to do the pointed roofs. You might have to do the pointed roofs on top. It's, uh, oof. That's, uh, that's a pretty intense look right there. I don't know. Anyway, some ideas. Some ideas, you know? Uh, I was saying, I was gonna put the, I'll put the link to the, um, model, the Blender model in, uh, this is all in Blender, but, uh, yeah, yeah, this is all in Blender. You can export it to whatever you want, but, uh, that's what I work in. So this should, uh, it should give you something to start with, something to think about, maybe some ideas for improvements. Uh, maybe you don't like any of this, but uh, at least make the windows, the windows a little bit narrower and taller. That'd be, that'd be a good step. All right, cool. Thanks for your time. Bye.